Today, we will be combining ramen with Christmas. Ramen and Christmas? That's right, non-believer. We are gonna be creating a ramen garnished with all the food you find at a Christmas feast. Leftover Christmas ham, zucchini, squash, and onion, cherry tomatoes, kale, Brussels sprouts, a carrot, and we're gonna do a soft-boiled egg. Ready to go. Gatsby's ready too. We're gonna preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Two teaspoons of sea salt, two teaspoons of black pepper, two teaspoons of onion powder, and one teaspoon of paprika. Let's mix that all together. Shred the carrot and slice it. Do you like some carrots? There you go. Now let's add our zucchini, squash, and onions, as well as our carrots and Brussels sprouts and tomatoes. Now we drizzle with olive oil, and we sprinkle it with our seasoning. Add some rosemary. Beautiful. Now we stick it in the oven. Now let's do the kale egg and ramen. We are gonna be using the shoyu ramen, which is a soy sauce flavor ramen. In restaurants, they tend to add like pork belly or some kind of pork product. So I thought that Christmas ham is not a far stretch. We'll see if that works out. So we're gonna steam some kale. I think I might try making like a wreath, see how that turns out. A lot of the times, the Christmas ham is garnished with kale. So there we go. Would you like a raw kale stem? We're gonna add some water to the kettle to make the soup base. I'm gonna do one in a regular ramen bowl and one in a giant bowl and see how it turns out. Let's add the soup bases to each one. So we're adding two eggs. Set a timer for six and a half minutes. There it goes. Ramen water is boiling. Let's add the noodles. Oh! Okay, kale and eggs are done. Steam and kale. Let's add the eggs to an ice bath for three minutes. The vegetables look like they're done. Woo! Nice. Okay, looks good. Now, let's add all the ingredients. Here's Christmas ramen number one, and Christmas ramen number two. Let's see how these taste. The ham matches. The ham is like sweet and salty. Tomato is a little weird just because it's kind of acidic. Everything else tastes pretty good. The seasoning on the vegetables really matches the ramen. It does kind of taste like I'm eating like a Christmas feast. To be honest, I was a little bit worried that the stuff inside of the ramen would not match. Who knew? Ramen and Christmas together? Mind blown! I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and you enjoyed the Christmas ramen. In the comments below, write down what you thought was the weirdest thing that I put inside of this ramen here. And let's start the vlog. Good morning guys, we decided to start the day off at the park. It's a cold day, but we got BB-8 out to play. Guess it's time to start the day. stop off at the post office to deliver some more calendars and we'll see you guys at the gym.
Right now, I am headed over to the aquarium store. I have to go and grab some more dosing of calcium and alkalinity. I'm meeting up with my friend Patrick there. He has a fish that he's been holding on for me. We'll see you guys there. Guy okay, Diamondback Gobi. I'm gonna name him um, Dr. Mario. <laughs> He's a sand sifter, so he'll help clean my sand bed. Got diamonds on my neck, got diamonds on my record. Since 16, headed down right in Lexus. How you gonna neglect this? You was just a hot mess. You can call Tyrone. You ain't got to lie, Craig. What about my doggy doggy? You don't want my doggy doggy acting like I'm nobody. You gonna make me call somebody. Hey. He eats all the sand and sifts it through his mouth and spits it out his gills. If you didn't know, all the fish in the aquarium are named after my amiibos. We got Samus, Captain Falcon, King DDD, and this was Rosalina. Another thing to do while you're acclimating the fish is to turn off all the lights to make sure that there's less shock for all the fish. Dripping some of the aquarium water into his water so that he'll get used to it. You gotta do that for about an hour and before we get any further in the vlog, I thought we would read some Christmas letters that we got. This is from Jill from East Haven, Connecticut. Victoria from Elk Grove, California. Sophia from the UK. I've been a follower since your amiibo hunting days. Ha <laughs> ha. Linda from Malaysia. Asher and Ashby. The main thing my seven year old daughter Jasmine won for Christmas was Gatsby's calendar. From Glendale, Terry and Bentley. Postagram from Chris and Nayali. Monica. Emily from Apple Valley, California. Was it hard to get Gatsby on a potty schedule? It only took a few Few days for him to actually understand the schedule as long as you take him out um, at the same exact time every single day. This is from Quinn from Laceport, California. Chipotle card. Nice. As I have now been watching your vlogs for four years now and have seen every episode, your videos have been very inspirational to me and have helped me change the way I view life. Thank you so much for helping me become who I am today. Quinn. Thank you so much, Quinn. That makes me feel so nice. Thank you so much for everyone who sent us holiday cheer. Gatsby! Thank you. Done! As I had mentioned before, my yellow tang especially is incredibly, incredibly aggressive to new fish. We figured out the solution is to just show a larger fish and stick that against the aquarium, and then the yellow tang becomes very docile. There we go. He's checking out the aquarium. Diamondback gobies are known to eat all the sand and spit it out their gills and clean up the sand, because we have brown sand here, and it'll help stir the sand bed up. Okay, using my tripod to hold everything in place. In the previous vlog, I received a gift from Katie, Joe, and Toby from the UK. So I thought that I would try it out. Wine gums. It smells like wine. Mmm. It's really good. It's way better than like gummy bears that we find in America. Round trees pick and mix like a gun drop. This one's not bad either. Next we have love hearts. These look like the ones that we have in America. This one is like a circle instead with a heart on the inside. I guess in America we call it like Smarties. This one says Dream Girl. Maltesers. These look like Whoppers in America. Ah. Let's try this arrow. It's like the only one that I've seen before. I don't. I've never had it though. It has like little holes inside. Oh, it's really soft. Chocolate covered foam. Jelly popping candy. That has like pop rocks inside. I like it. Wisp of gold. A cheeky caramel layer. So cheeky. Nestle Munchies. This has like a cookie layer and a caramel layer. Munchies. I wouldn't call it that though. <laughs> I'd call it something like Milky Way. <laughs> and let's try a Yorkie original. Man fuel for man stuff. It tastes like a different kind of chocolate. I don't know how to explain it. It tastes like milk chocolate with like whole milk and butter. Romney's Kendall Mint Cake. 
It's like all white. It tastes like pure sugar with some mint. <laughs> I don't know if I like that one. I like this one the most, wine gummies. Arrow is very good. I'd say my third favorite is the Yorkie candy bar. Thank you so much to Katie, Joe, and Toby for letting me try those out. If you wanna send us stuff, make sure to check out our PO box, which is in the description below. Wrapping complete. Where could Gatsby be? What is this box doing here? <gasps> it's a corgi! It's Gatsby in a box. Step one, put Gatsby in a box. Step two, then you close the box. Step three, then you open the box. And that's the way we do it. It's Gatsby in a box. I'd like to thank everyone who purchased our Corgi on Fleek calendars here. And I hope for those of you who didn't get one, maybe you got one on Christmas day. Thank you so much to everyone who purchased it. We've, I worked really hard on this. Gatsby, stop it. And since it's Christmas time, I thought I would reveal December's photo. So let's check out what the month of December has in store for us. Oh, check it out. Gatsby sleeping by the Christmas presents and the amiibos. Gatsby was actually pretty cooperative for this picture. And I'm really happy with this photo. And if it's past Christmas or Hanukkah and you weren't able to get the calendar, don't worry, you can still get them at corgionfleek.com. Best year ever. And now it is time for 10 rapid fire questions. What? Question one, what is your favorite Christmas movie? Ooh, Elf or Polar Express. Favorite classical Christmas song? Carol of the Bells or It's Beginning to Look a Lot Like Christmas. Favorite contemporary Christmas song? Coldplay's Christmas Lights or NSYNC's Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Least favorite Christmas song? Christmas Shoes. It's just like so sad. Most memorable Christmas gift? The GameCube with Super Smash Brothers Melee. I remember we just played that all day long. Favorite Christmas food? Apple pie or pumpkin pie? Least favorite Christmas food? Fruit cake. Favorite thing about Christmas? Everyone is so festive and in the giving spirit. What's on your Christmas list? Not that much this year. Amazon Echo Dot and gym clothes. And most memorable Christmas memory. Last year, sledding with Gatsby and Tahoe in the snow. Complete! And that was 10 rapid fire Christmas questions. Woo! Back to you, Gatsby. Gatsby, would you like to go and see the Christmas lights? Yeah? this place like every year they do like a competition for best house so we'll see which one is the best you guys can vote too look at that oh my gosh it's crazy look at this house they lit the entire thing and look at this one look at this house See all the lights, Gatsby? It's like cars waiting to get in. Christmas tree inside of there spins and changes colors. There's not a single house that isn't decorated. <laughs> They're all there. Oh, look at this one. Hello Kitty house. Gatsby, you having a good time? Yeah? Christmas tree outside. And any other block, this house would be considered super decked out. But in this neighborhood, meh. Okay, we found Mr. Scrooge's house. The one that has no lights on. 
That was super fun. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I did. The comments will let me know which house was the best. My personal favorite was that one that was covered in lights. We got lights too, Gatsby. We just made it back home. Thank you so much for watching today's vlog. During Christmas time, my family is flying back up to see me and we're gonna spend Christmas traveling with Gatsby as well. So there will be another traveling vlog in the next one. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Okay, come here, okay. There. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, and we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Good night. Ah!